Hello and welcome back to the Angerati studio here at European Utility Week and uh, I am joined now by Eran Aloni who is the CEO of, uh, actually your company name isn't on there. What's it's Sangam Tech. Sangam Tech. Yeah. Oh, it's down there on the, yeah. on, on the, on the yeah. bottom. Okay. And uh, this has been quite an interesting interview because uh, it, it came about because mm -hmm. either you or a press officer or uh -huh. someone sent out a press It was me, we're a small company. Yes. It, it, it was you. <laughs> Uh, so it was you on the day you were being the press officer, I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh, and um, it, it, it caught my eye because uh, you're doing something quite innovative with smart meter data. Mm -hmm. um, there is a uh, there's an ambition to do something differently as well. Yeah. And just uh, explain a little bit of, about what you're trying to do. Okay. You know we've been hearing the. Uh, the word smart smart grid or smart cities for a long time and everybody's trying to say okay we're doing the smartest grid or the smart, smartest uh, cities and what we realize is that everyone is working uh, separately everyone has like a microgrids and what we think that in order to create real smart grid and smart city you must engage the, the, the consumers in this, uh, in this uh, concept and, and for that reason what we believe is the way to get the, the consumers engaged is through um, socializing. So what we developed is a, is a social platform. Uh, you can think about it as like a, a Facebook of energy or LinkedIn of, a, of energy, where all the consumers can connect. They build a, a profile where they connect their data from smart meters and they can share this information between their networks, friends with the utility company or with the city. And that's what we do. And what does that allow them to do that they can't do now. Okay. So, so uh, 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 why would I share my data? Ah, that's a good question. Yeah. First of all, uh, you as a we, we offer you uh, uh, like a gamification uh, side in this uh, thing. The other thing is that you are going to look at your uh, at your bills at least three times a month. Okay, With, whether it will be your uh, your uh, uh, electricity, water, and, uh, and gas, you'll have to look at your bill. And what we provide is sort of like a, think about it, I don't know if you had the chance to watch a Harry Potter. Yeah. Okay, in Harry Potter you have like a, you, have, you open the newspaper, in the newspaper you have like a, a picture, that the picture is moving. Same thing we do, we provide an interactive bill where you see your chart running, you can uh, define goals mm -hmm. on this bill, and then you can share this information either with your network, your family, uh, your building of the rest of the city just for, for having the average consumption. So that's one incentive. The other thing is, as a utility company, I offer it to you as a service. Uh, I'll give you some kind of incentive if you will uh, share your information with me or with other people. What we believe is that eventually, you know, everybody's talking about privacy. Uh, if privacy will become a big issue, we will be in a good, in a good position. Because what we allow you to do uh, is basically define what sort of information you want to share and with whom and what type of quality. So I can share my, I can share my information, my, my data with the utility company once a month for the billing, uh, with my mother every other hour, and with my network or with my building just for the average, you know, once a week. But so, it's up to me to decide. So, so, so this goes to this whole conversation around personal data ownership. Yes, exactly, it? exactly. And uh, how can uh, we give control back to the individual about the data that they're willing to share with the online services that are out yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Like because if you want to create a smart city, the city is the people. Mm. Okay, it's not just the public buildings or the municipality. It's the people. So if you want to create a smart city, you must have the residents engaged in this uh, in this process. If it's a small town, you want to uh, you know you want to reduce consumption. You want to improve the life in the city. But you must, you must in somehow get the customers engaged. And uh, we believe that this is the way to do it. Yeah. And you say you believe this is the way to do it. I know yeah. you're a startup as yeah. well. Um, most startups don't go into doing something without mm -hmm. having done some due diligence or research. Yes. Or, or yeah, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. you just believe in something and it works <laughs> yeah. out for you. Yeah. yeah. That, that's okay too. Yeah. Uh, but what are the sort of proof points that mm -hmm. you've got where you're saying, okay, here, 
if this happens, mm -hmm. this will be a net net effect in terms of either, I don't know, personal energy consumption or, or the city as a whole and things like that. Have you got any of those stories? Yeah, you know, we are, um, I've talked to a lot of people here at the show. Um, the, what we hear is that a lot of utility companies and, um, and companies that are providing these services as far as uh, uh, smart meters and softwares, they're looking for ways to offer services to their customers. Uh, and in a perfect world, I'll be able to connect the consumers. Right now, what we understand is that we, they don't own the data, although it's, uh, you know, it's going to become something that they're going to, to have right now. Whoever owns the data wants to use our services uh, in order to offer it as a service to their customers so he knows what's going on. When the time will come, when the green button will be you know, uh, worldwide, they will be able to engage with them through our system. So we, are, we see the market is going there, but we have to, first of all, you know, do the business with, uh, with the utilities, right. with the municipalities, yes. Right, okay. That's a big challenge, isn't it? You, 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 yeah, we like uh, challenges. That's a startup, you know. I'm not saying it's uh, yeah. not one worth yeah. undertaking, but what, what? So, if we look at the utility mm -hmm. um, uh, as an actor, because you clearly need everybody to play their part. This yes. is not going to work. If you, it's it's almost like if you don't have the utility playing their part, then there's no benefit, and, Correct. and so on and so on and yeah. so on. So uh, the, the utility is probably the linchpin. Yeah. What, what's in it for the utility? I mean, what do they get out of it mm -hmm. that they can't do themselves or, mm -hmm. uh, or more importantly, uh, that they can see because these are businesses. Yes, exactly. Yeah, a return on. So, you know, the question is always the utility. Does the, does the utility want to save energy or not? Okay, because they're selling energy. It's one thing that's it's a, it's a big question. Um, we offer it as a service. I mean, they, the utility is offering it as a service to their consumers. The consumers obviously is not paying for it. But the utility can take decisions based on, just imagine that I'm going to a city and the city is connected with different utility companies or different suppliers. You have different suppliers of software. I don't know, you have IBM, Siemens, you have different companies. But I offer one platform where everybody can see this information. If they all allow you as a consumer to share your data. So that's one thing. So uh, the municipality and the utility can see what's going on in the city right now. You can be connected to an IBM uh, software and I can be connected to Siemens and someone will see our, our walls if we decide to share this information, something that it doesn't exist right now. So you can take decisions based on that. Uh, I would actually say that I think for the, for the city, it's a little bit more important than for the utility. Because if the city is starting to run itself, you know, if the city is responsible for the electricity, for the water, uh, you know, you name it, public transportation, parking, you want to know what's going on. You want the, the, the people of the city to, to provide this data. And right now they don't know how to provide this data. And that goes back to some sort of interesting parallels where you're getting social network style programs yeah. for people to report when the street's got a pothole in it and that sort exactly, of thing is the exactly. same, same sort of philosophy. So do you think that this actually, now I asked you the utility question, yeah. but let me ask you the city question. That's yeah, easier. That's easier, <laughs> I would yeah. imagine. You know, you do, do you think that this is some sort, this is a type of initiative that a, a, a mayoral body or whatever mm -hmm. would take up to yeah. just to get a a quicker way of them getting an overview of what's going on. Now, mm -hmm. in London, everybody thinks the mayor has got lots of powers, but they're actually quite co contained. Yeah. Uh, but even so, if they had more information about it, they could probably influence and cajole in the right direction. You know, there's... I can tell you, for example, in Israel, the, big, the bigger cities sign on a... You know, on a, on a program that they're going to um, um, uh, reduce the... Um, uh, the pollution, okay, in the city, but the city doesn't know what's going on in my apartment. They have no idea. The only thing they can control is sometimes the public transportation, mm -hmm. you know, the garbage trucks maybe, mm -hmm. or their public buildings. Mm -hmm. But they don't know what's going on in your apartment or in my house. Mm -hmm. So unless I'm I'm sharing my information with them, they can sign on anything that they they want, but they're not actually doing it. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. Um, the other thing is that. 
I, as a, as a resident in the city, want to, uh, to improve my life in the city. That's why I want to share the information with, with the city so the city can save money or the city can do other things uh, that will improve my life. That's, that's my incentive. I can tell you that we're talking now to uh, several cities also uh, in Europe, uh, but it, these are smaller cities, smaller towns. It's not London. And, um, not yet. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> well, the thing is, with big cities, you know, the decisions are... It takes a lot. Yeah, someone yeah. told me, I spoke to, a, how do you say, a deputy mayor. Deputy mayor. Yeah. Yeah. He told me it's like a pregnancy. The minimum is nine months. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go in there, you know, talk to smaller towns. Yeah. It's much faster. The decisions that are, they're taking is much faster. So we're doing it with smaller towns. In Israel, actually, the, the best... Um, the best ground is uh, is doing with uh, like villages. We have like kibbutzim, mm. which is are like uh, it's like social communes, and yes. and they have they have smart meters, which is very easy to get uh, to get them into this uh, this program, and also with small towns because small towns can do it, uh, and then for them, it's very important to know what's going on. I mean, I spoke to someone here that will say, you know, we we start to charge the residents on anything they do in the city. Uh, someone told me there's a, there's an idea here to. Uh, you know, to light to light up the, the, the street lights once you start to drive into this uh, into the street. Yeah. Now I can share it in this information. You will see. Okay, look, I did it uh, at eight o'clock. I, I went into the street. I turned on the light, and that's how I'm going to uh, I'm going to share this information with the city. So every everything is getting um, connected. That's that's what we're trying to do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I think I agree with you. So going in into some smaller cities, that, and and that'll give you proof of concept, and then you can absolutely. start, absolutely, absolutely, you know, getting some of that hard data. It's just like saying, here's what we were uh, able to do, here's uh, what we were not able There's to do. There's a good market so, there for in the small cities. Well, exactly, and, yeah. and you know, uh, I know what it's like uh, with a small business. You you need some quick decisions. You know, you can't be sat around for nine months, on, <laughs> yeah. and, and, and then it, it happens and it doesn't. Nine months in a startup, <laughs> it's uh, it's deadly. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so. Uh, Listen, we're, we're coming to the end of our time here. Sure. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Great. Uh, what I would like is when you start having some of those uh, hard facts and, and, uh, and those lessons, please mm. share them with us because uh, I'd, I'd like to continue the story and because uh, it's quite fascinating, especially from the energy perspective as well. And uh, I'd like to thank you as well for watching. It's been another inter interview on Angerati. I hope you found it enjoyable. And uh, there are many more interviews, but also uh, the presentations from the conference available to download as well. Thanks again for watching.